Good afternoon, everybody. I'm doing a video on taking apart the Corvair carburetor. Uh, I uninstalled it out of the Corvair with two little clips on the controls here, on the throttle and the choke. Okay. Um, I took off this uh, this part here for the filter. This filter goes in here as an inline filter. As you can see, the fuel, there's a lot of sediment in it. A lot of sediment in the fuel. So, you got to get the carburetors apart. I took the bottom plate off, this plate here, spacer. There's a gasket on here that's going to have to come off. Right now, I'm going to take apart this part here, the bellows. i got to get a screwdriver. Mind you, I, you have to do everything in steps so you don't mess up where you got to go here. It's pretty cut and dry though. I don't want to dip this into the carburetor cleaner because the plastic, it'll ruin the plastic. This is plastic. Of course, it's not metal. It'd be too easy. <laughs> right? Right, that's hooked into the choke. Gotta take these pins off. Sometimes they're hard to get off. Push down on if I remember correctly. Right through here. Huh. Doesn't want to come off. Never easy to come off these pins, these clips. Needle nose pliers. Let's try that. That might help. Wind's blowing out there. There it is. I got it. Here we go. That's that. We got one screw holding us up here. There we go. Okay, just leave it just like that in order. Got that off. Now I'll get the carburetor apart. And see all the junk that's in there. This thing's loaded with garbage. I gotta I gotta run the motor and see what the fuel's looking like coming out of the motor. Out of the gas tank, I mean. I got a suspicious feeling that the gas tank it's got a lot of sediment in it and dirt, but hopefully not, because I picked up a lot here. It might have just been in the fuel lines, but I don't know. 
far as old, 64. Long time ago. Thinking about dropping the carburetor in just like this. These are all the same size. Always keep your screws together. Make sure they're the same size. That's why I'm videoing this too, so I remember. But I do have a schematic in the manuals. Reason I'm reason why I'm working on the Corvair because I'm waiting for paint for the Jeep. Waiting for the paint. All right. I'm gonna drop this into the cleaner. Well, I gotta get this off the gasket. I gotta get the gasket off. Probably get it off with the scraper. And it's coming off. Maybe the Corvair will run better once I get these carburetors cleaned up. Because there's little holes in here. Channels. Boy, she's dirty. She's black inside. Look at that. Yeah, it's carboned up. I pulled the spark plug too. The spark plugs were carboned up pretty good. Alright, let me get the juice. Dip it in the juice. And leave it in there. For a while. There was a carburetor rebuild kit that was in there for $19.50 that somebody bought, but they never hooked it up. So I got that. I just hoping it's for two carburetors. I'm sure it is. And I got this stuff here. You gotta make sure there's nothing plastic on here. Wow, what a difference that is. The last batch of this stuff I bought was was black inside. Looked like somebody used it. This is much better. You can get a little plastic basket. I don't know if the basket's gonna fit. I don't know if that's gonna fit in with the basket. I don't even know if the carburetor is going to fit. Let's see. I might go in there. Yeah. Wow. It's in there. Filling up. This stuff's turning dark already. There it is. It's in there. We'll come back later and take care of that. And here's the parts that I pulled so far. It's a little filter.
here's where the carburetor came from right here that I took it out. I got everything in a bag here so I don't lose the parts. Always do that. So I'll start, start to take the other carburetor off and clean that up, make it like new. I'm going to clean all this up, paint it. All right, that's about it. So I'll show the breakdown when I go to break it all down after it's clean. Catch you all later. Have a good one.